Atmospheric thermodynamics is the study of heat to work transformations and their reverse that take place in the Earth's atmosphere and manifest as weather or climate. Atmospheric thermodynamics use the laws of classical thermodynamics to describe and explain such phenomena as the properties of moist air, the formation of clouds, atmospheric convection, boundary layer meteorology, and vertical instabilities in the atmosphere. Atmospheric thermodynamic diagrams are used as tools in the forecasting of storm development. Atmospheric thermodynamics forms a basis for cloud microphysics and convection parameterizations used in numerical weather models and is used in many climate considerations, including convective equilibrium climate models. Overview The atmosphere is an example of a non-equilibrium system. Atmospheric thermodynamics describes the effect of buoyant forces that cause the rise of less dense warmer air, the descent of more dense air, and the transformation of water from liquid to vapor evaporation and its condensation. Those dynamics are modified by the force of the pressure gradient and that motion is modified by the Coriolis force. The tools used include the law of energy conservation, the ideal gas law, specific heat capacities, the assumption of isentropic processes in which entropy is a constant, and moist adiabatic processes during which no energy is transferred as heat. Most of tropospheric gases are treated as ideal gases and water vapor, with its ability to change phase from vapor, to liquid, to solid, and back is considered as one of the most important trace components of air. Advanced topics are phase transitions of water, homogeneous and inhomogeneous nucleation, effect of dissolved substances on cloud condensation, role of supersaturation on formation of ice crystals and cloud droplets. Considerations of moist air and cloud theories typically involve various temperatures, such as equivalent potential temperature, wet bulb and virtual temperatures. Connected areas are energy, momentum, and mass transfer, turbulence interaction between air particles in clouds, convection, dynamics of tropical cyclones, and large-scale dynamics of the atmosphere. The major role of atmospheric thermodynamics is expressed in terms of adiabatic and diabatic forces acting on air parcels included in primitive equations of air motion either as grid-resolved or subgrid parameterizations. These equations form a basis for the numerical weather and climate predictions. History In the early 19th century thermodynamicists such as Sadi Carnot, Rudolf Clausius, and Émile Clapeyron developed mathematical models on the dynamics of fluid bodies and vapors related to the combustion and pressure cycles of atmospheric steam engines, one example is the clausius clapeyron equation. In 1873, thermodynamicist Willard Gibbs published, "...graphical methods in the thermodynamics of fluids." These sorts of foundations naturally began to be applied towards the development of theoretical models of atmospheric thermodynamics which drew the attention of the best minds. Papers on atmospheric thermodynamics appeared in the 1860s that treated such topics as dry and moist adiabatic processes. In 1884 Heinrich Hertz devised first atmospheric thermodynamic diagram emigram. Pseudo-adiabatic process was coined by von Bessel describing air as it is lifted, expands, cools, and eventually precipitates its water vapor. In 1888 he published voluminous work entitled, On the Thermodynamics of the Atmosphere. In 1911 von Alfred Wegener published a book, Thermodynamic der Atmosphere, Leipzig, J. A. Barth. From here the development of atmospheric thermodynamics as a branch of science began to take root. The term Atmospheric thermodynamics itself can be traced to Frank W. Verry's 1919 publication, The Radiant Properties of the Earth from the Standpoint of Atmospheric Thermodynamics. Occasional scientific papers of the Westward Astrophysical Observatory. By the late 1970s, various textbooks on the subject began to appear. Today, atmospheric thermodynamics is an integral part of weather forecasting. Topic. Chronology 1751 – Charles Leroy recognized dew point temperature as point of saturation of air. 1782 – Jacques Charles made hydrogen balloon flight measuring temperature and pressure in Paris. 1784 – Concept of variation of temperature with height was suggested. 1801–1803 – John Dalton developed his laws of pressures of vapors. 
1804 Joseph Louis Gay Lussac made balloon ascent to study weather. 1805 Pierre Simon Laplace developed his law of pressure variation with height. 1841 James Pollard Espy publishes paper on convection theory of cyclone energy. 1856 William Ferrell presents dynamics causing westerlies. 1889 Hermann von Helmholtz and John William von Bezold used the concept of potential temperature. Von Bezold used adiabatic lapse rate and pseudoadiabat. 1893 Richard Asman constructs first aerological sonde pressure temperature humidity 1894 John Wilhelm von Bezold used concept of equivalent temperature 1926 Sir Napier Shaw introduced tephigram 1933 Tor Bergeron published paper on physics of clouds and precipitation describing precipitation from supercooled due to condensational growth of ice crystals in presence of water drops 1946 Vincent J. Schaefer and Irving Langmuir performed the first cloud seeding experiment. 1986 K. Emanuel conceptualizes tropical cyclone as Carnot heat engine. Topic: Applications. Topic: Hadley circulation. The Hadley circulation can be considered as a heat engine. The Hadley circulation is identified with rising of warm and moist air in the equatorial region with the descent of colder air in the subtropics corresponding to a thermally driven direct circulation, with consequent net production of kinetic energy. The thermodynamic efficiency of the Hadley system, considered as a heat engine, has been relatively constant over the 1979-2010 period, averaging 2.6%. Over the same interval, the power generated by the Hadley regime has risen at an average rate of about 0.54 terawatts per year. This reflects an increase in energy input to the system consistent with the observed trend in the tropical sea surface temperatures. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Tropical cyclone Carnot cycle. The thermodynamic behavior of a hurricane can be modeled as a heat engine that operates between the heat reservoir of the sea at a temperature of about 300 K 27 degrees Celsius and the heat sink of the tropopause at a temperature of about 200 K minus 72 degrees Celsius and in the process converts heat energy into mechanical energy of winds. Parcels of air traveling close to the sea surface take up heat and water vapor, the warmed air rises and expands and cools as it does so causes condensation and precipitation. The rising air, and condensation, produces circulatory winds that are propelled by the Coriolis force, which whip up waves and increase the amount of warm moist air that powers the cyclone. Both a decreasing temperature in the upper troposphere or an increasing temperature of the atmosphere close to the surface will increase the maximum winds observed in hurricanes. When applied to hurricane dynamics it defines a Carnot heat engine cycle and predicts maximum hurricane intensity. Topic. Water vapor and global climate change The clausius clapeyron relation shows how the water holding capacity of the atmosphere increases by about 8% per Celsius increase in temperature. It does not directly depend on other parameters like the pressure or density. This water holding capacity, or equilibrium vapor pressure, can be approximated using the August Roche Magnus formula E. S T equals 6.1094 EXP 17.625 T T plus 243.04 display style e underscore S T equals 6.1094 EXP left frac 17.625 T T plus 243.04 right where E S T display style e underscore S T is the equilibrium or saturation vapor pressure in HPA and T display style T is temperature in degrees Celsius. This shows that when atmospheric temperature increases, e.g., due to greenhouse gases, the absolute humidity should also increase exponentially, assuming a constant relative humidity. 
However, this purely thermodynamic argument is subject of considerable debate because convective processes might cause extensive drying due to increased areas of subsidence, efficiency of precipitation could be influenced by the intensity of convection, and because cloud formation is related to relative humidity. See also Atmospheric temperature Chemical thermodynamics Cloud physics Equilibrium thermodynamics Fluid dynamics Non-equilibrium thermodynamics Thermodynamics Topic. Special topics Lorenz, E. N., 1955, Available Potential Energy in the Maintenance of the General Circulation, Tellus, 7, 157–167. Emmanuel, K., 1986, Part 1 An Air-Sea Interaction Theory for Tropical Cyclones, J. Atmos, Psi. 43, 585, Energy Cycle of the Mature Hurricane has been idealized here as Carnot engine that converts heat energy extracted from the ocean to mechanical energy.